everyone. In this video, I would like to explain about optimization of sugarcane bagasse lignin separation using sodium hydroxide. Before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Fadiriswita Nurhaliza. My identification number is 201012. Currently, bagasse is mostly used as a foil and stem boilers as raw material for making paper or as a source of animal feed. In general, sugar factories in Indonesia use bagasse as fuel for the factory concerns. After the bagasse undergoes a drying process, the potential for bagasse in Indonesia is quite large. According to Indonesian statistical data in 2002, the area of sugar cane in Indonesia is 395 1,399.44 hectare, spread over Sumatra Island, Kalimantan Island, and Sulawesi Island. It is estimated that each hectare of sugar cane can produce 100 tons of bagasse. Then the potential of national bagasse that can be available from the total area of sugar cane reaches 39 million 539,000 944 tons per year. Vegas is a solid waste of the sugarcane industry which contains lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose fibers which are byproducts of the sugarcane extraction process. Based on chemical analysis, the average chemical composition of Vegas was ash 3.2 to 28%, lignin 22.9%, cellulose 37.65%, juice 1.81%, pentosan 27.97%, and SiO2 3.1%. This bagasse is produced as much as 32% of the weight of milk sugarcane. Lignin fills the space in the cell wall between cellulose, hemicellulose, and pectin. Lignin plays a very important role in the distribution of water in plant stems. Lignin is present in all vascular plants, but not in bryophytes, supporting the idea that lignin's original function was restricted to water transport. Lignin as one of the main components in Vegas is a complex polymer with a high molecular weight composed of phenylpropane unit, which is also the main component of wood. The molecular structure of lignin consists of an aromatic system composed of phenylpropane units. Soft wood contains more lignin than hard wood. Lignin molecules contain hydroxyl, methoxyl, and carboxyl groups, and when degraded by bases form benzene derivatives. Lignin, which will later become lignosulfonate, is a lignin derivative containing sulfonate, which has a hydrophilic group such as sulfonate group, phenyl hydroxyl and hydroxyl alcohol, and a hydrophobic group, such as carbon chain, so that it is included in the anionic surfactant group. A simple estimate of the structure of the lignin monomer can be seen in the image below. The biggest from the sugar factory was previously sieved coarsely and then in the oven to dry completely. Then the bagasse that has been roasted is sieved again with a sieve shaker to get the size of the bagasse powder with a mesh variation of 40 mesh, 60 mesh, 80 mesh, and 100 mesh. Bagasse that has been sieved Using a sieve shaker with a certain mesh size is put into a neck flex 
3 and reflux with ethanol for 8 hours. Then reflux with water for 2 hours and then reflux in sodium hydroxide solution for 4 hours. Variations in the concentration of sodium hydroxide used were sodium hydroxide 2M, 3M, 6M, 8M, and 10M. The reaction mixture in the sodium hydroxide solution was the filtered. Furthermore, the filtered resulting from reflux of sodium hydroxide is neutralized by detersing concentrate sulfuric acid to pH 2 and allowed to stand for at least 8 hours until a precipitate appears. The resulting precipitate was then filtered and dried in an oven at 70 degrees Celsius. The precipitate obtained is lignin isolated from the bagasse. The highest percentage of lignin recovery occurred in the lignin isolation process with a concentration of sodium hydroxide 3M mesh 40 of 63.36%, sodium hydroxide 8M mesh 60 of 75.73%, and sodium hydroxide 10M mesh 80 of 63.79%. Optimization of the separation of lignin from bagasse occurred when the variation of bagasse mesh was 80 with 3M sodium hydroxide because it produced the best lignin. 